Okay, today is a little bit different from yesterday here in Wandor. It's colder, as you can see, and someone actually messaged me yesterday to say it'd be colder. They were actually in Gangjin, where I was at the temple stay, but I kept in touch with this cafe um, there, they're on Instagram and all that. But there's kind of three things I want to just talk about in this video. Uh, two of them relate to Ireland and islands, to do with islands in general, and to do with Wando. Uh, there's an island here, and we we are. Sorry, I'm just near the traffic here. Right, let's cross the road. But there's an island I want to show you, and I did show you before briefly in a video my last one doll video but I didn't explain a bit about it because I didn't know <laughs> but let me just show you this first let's just turn this around actually let's walk up here right it's a bit windy maybe I shouldn't have gone here but I'm just going to show you this a bit of silence from me I'm showing you this partly because I'm fascinated again it might look t t t cheesy or tacky to some people you got this animal with this kind of faint color this area here and now I, I think at night time this might be lit this might be lit up a bit but again this is a t this is a town or kind of an island really uh, which I'll come to in a second come on to because uh, it's the little things that they do in these places that make things feel it, it may be like a town but also give it a bit of nature even if it's a bit fake not fake but you know so we've got a well fake in some ways we've got this all these uh, things up here here in Wando, uh, what does this say? Bing, uh, bingo, bingo, le bong wang, I think. I'd have to find out what that means. Uh, my Korean is uh, not that great at times. Well, at, at a lot of times. But the reason I'm saying this is because I, I chose to walk up this bit. Sorry, I was going to use a mic, but I, I'm just doing this on the fly, really. I chose, coming from the other direction, I just chose to come off the footpath up to this little bit here, this little ramp thing. And I wasn't the only person, someone walking the other way was doing the same. But it's just these walk areas that make you, give you a bit of variety and also give your, I mean, your legs, you know, you feel like you're doing something, you're, you're taking some steps up. You're taking some steps up. This wooden surface, and uh, it's not like you're making way for anyone on the street. Um, you, and there's plenty of space in the pavement. It's massive. It's pretty wide, but it just kind of makes you want to walk up it, and you're you're beside nature. Now, whether that's, I guess that's part of the plan. And there's, there's other stuff up here, but. I guess I was intrigued about myself because I just chose to get off the get off this pavement and walk on this bit. No reason. It just felt like I mean, it's it's brown color and it felt a bit net natural and here we go, a bit of nature planted here. So this stretch it might have been easier to walk the other way really. <laughs> but I've already come that way. Uh, I just had a, a, a vegan plant burger at a well-known burger place in Korea, and I'm gonna do, hopefully do a little video about that. But, so what I'm saying is I was walking along here and I just chose to take this option. I didn't have to, but again, Carpet, you feel elevate you feel elevated literally you know you've gone up in the world 
But you know, you're doing something with your legs. You're not just walking. And maybe it's to do with the hiking in Korea. Right. I'm going to come out of the wind a little bit and talk just briefly about what I mentioned. The two things relating to islands and not get not get run over. I'm not using a tripod or a gimbal or anything here. So this is how it is. But I do have a, a phone and well, let's just say a device with a lot more memory than I had before. So, first of all, we are in Wando, as we were yesterday. And today I'm getting a ferry to Jeju Do. Jeju Island. Do means island. So Wando is, I'm guessing, uh, the, it's an island. You know, it's, this is an island off the co uh, off the end of Korea, down from Gangjin. Gangjin Gun. This is Wando Gun, Wando County. And um, I'm staying at that place. Oh, sorry, I've just sorry. I've just checked out at that place, uh, Wondonesia, great name. Brilliant cafe downstairs. So the aesthetics make you wanna stay there. It's warm, it's got a book area upstairs. Okay, so that now, this is the other island point I'm getting to, the, the fact of the, you know, when it's an island, it's dull. It's normally like, there's a well-known island that has a kind of ongoing battle between Japan and Korea. And that is Dokdor. And again, it's Dor, it's island. Essentially it's island, I mean, that's the best way of explaining it. But I want to take you over here to that heart, those hearts there, which, which again are lit up at night time. Because I pointed to that island, I believe, yesterday in my first Wondol video. Right, let's wait. Unfortunately in Korea, well, fortunately, maybe, I don't know, cars uh, have priority over humans, but there's a lot of traffic lights, so there technically should be less accidents, but uh, I, I can't really say that's the case. So we're going to walk over there, and I'm going to show you a sign. And I discovered this last night when that was all lit up. I hadn't even noticed it in the daytime. I hadn't read my little tour pamphlet. I've got like a little tour map that they give out. Actually, let's walk in here. Oh, I can't. Uh, yeah, I can. I can. Let's just show you something. I'm going to miss the lights altogether here, but... What I'm talking about is one door, um, you know, tall, tall thingies or sightseeing thingies. This is a great little accommodation. So I'm gonna walk back out. Let's go out this door. This is for residents or guest house stays. So I'm just gonna cross the road. Sorry about this, it's taking a bit of time. There's plenty of places to cross the road up here. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's Wondonesia behind me. So that island over there, which I think I said yesterday or I recorded something somewhere I spoke about islet. It feels like an islet because it's not quite an island. Although the last experience I had of the word islet really was in Vietnam, probably my first trip like 12 years ago when you go to Halong Bay. Anyway, that is that. And, and you're gonna get a bit of wind here. Of course, this lights up at night, like a lot of these places. A lot of these small towns have this kind of thing. But, and also oh, this does. But then I saw this last night. So you might be able to guess what's going, what's going on here. That is in the shape of a heart. Because of a certain area that's eroded over time or in the past, it's got a, a heart shape. And this is... Uh, judo, judo. So we're in Wando. I'm going to Jejudo, and this is judo, judo week. And um, I was just uh, 
fascinating because I didn't see this when I recorded this yesterday or I saw this, but a lot of these towns have, a lot of cities have this, you know. And um, yeah, so I'm getting, I'm going to be getting a ferry over there, uh, a big uh, Hanel Express ferry. So that's it really. I just wanted to point out about that island. It's a heart. It really is. I guess it's the heart of Wondor. Uh, I wanted to point out the bit that I've just walked on. Again, you've got the wood here, but this doesn't feel as naturey. And and of course, you know, just islands in general. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm island hopping. Although for a week I'd be in a temple, in a temple state in Korea. So I've still got a few more weeks in Korea before I hop over to the island of Thailand, let's say. Um, okay, so bad puns put to one side and let's just end this video and I'll talk to you next time. All right, see ya.